Okay, looks like things are working again. Excellent. Uh, let's see. We were working on Grizzled Badass Guy. I don't know. Uh, um, what do I do with him? What do I do with you, buddy? Excellent. Good. I'm glad things are working. Sometimes I think about what some of the stuff I say sounds like to people who watch us after the fact and can't see the chat. And I'm just sitting here randomly exclaiming things. Ugh. Sometimes it's hard in recent months to find the motivation to do stuff. When, like, during lunch break today, I think it came out that there was, a, like, a White House briefing and they only invited some of the press to come in, the ones that agree with them. And it's just like, I don't... How do I find motivation to make little happy characters when that's what's happening in the world? I know we generally don't talk politics in here, but oof, it's real hard. Ah. <clears throat> <sighs> So tough. Yeah. I think this curve will have to be rethought if we go forward with the angry eyes. Like, this is, like, still nice and open over here, but this is not quite so much. Oh, man, I meant to get water before I started doing this again. And I didn't. points so we'll make his scars or war paint or whatever it is I don't know oh god you have to really around that corner for it to show huh let's see 150. How's that? We're on that corner. 150 pixels. <laughs> That'll give us a nice smooth curve there. We can round the tip at the top.
Oh crap, I gotta make it shorter. But I already rounded the corners. No, okay. Are this corner still editable? Editable? Object path offset. Whoops, whoops. Maybe thinking of it as war paint. It's a better. I gotta make it small, smaller. There's only gonna be so, cause I mean, you're already playing this on iOS, so all of these guys are gonna be pretty small. So details that you want to see have to pop a lot. Hello, Mimi. I can like. Post lunch sleepies. So, see, I think this big mark is about as small as you can get, really. Because there's like, because these characters are so simple, relatively well, uh, uncomplicated, they take so much longer to make just because every little element is a big deal because there's not many elements. So you have to like think through every decision and it takes a long time to work on them. Uh, the game is uh, Bouncy Smash, and these enemies, these are all enemies over here, they all bounce around, boop, 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 bounce around, and you play as one of these five heroes, well, it's a little messy right now, one of these five heroes, and uh, you try to, you bounce on them, you're bouncing too, and uh, you bounce on them, and it's a really simple premise, but it is really fun to play. Uh, 
object path offset Everything is so misaligned. I'm going to have to do a lot of cleanup when I finish this stuff. Because right now everything is just kind of like a, a work in progress sort of thing. Sort of dealio. Try giving him a little like AR thing. A little eye thing. Um, I almost always do little sketches uh, before I start things. We've done the same with these guys. I mean, they're terrible sketches, but. Let's see. There you go. There's a couple, a few sketches for what I've done. Um, but like in one of my more recent illustrations, that'll give you a better idea. Let's see. Robot. So you can see here's the little sketch that I started with. And really, there's just like a few things that are. <sighs> still around it's like a lot of the work is so dependent on shapes aligning and stuff that there's only so much you can sketch so you just get the general feel and then kind of work through it and build on on it until you get to the end here so you can see a little sketch compared to the final end thing 
it's like a lot of the proportions are still the same but obviously i figured out his feet a little more and stuff like that so <laughs> Thank you. Ooh, I wonder if I was wondering if you could do some sort of like circles that do, 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 go out like they're being projected and that but it might it's probably just going to turn into mush when you see it at size we'll see Let's might just have to make them thicker, too thick. Why is this, when I change this to a point 0.4, it just deletes it? Okay, there we go. Maybe if you get rid of the eye, it'll be a little more clear. Who's that following? Mighty, mighty, mighty something, mighty something 87. That's all I got. Thanks for the follow, mighty something 87. I don't really know if that works. I don't think that works. Okay, so... We'll put that into the pile of rejects over here on the left.
<sighs> Chat, what can I do to wake myself up? When I had a standing desk, I never had the problem of getting sleepy after lunch. It was glorious. That would work. I don't. <laughs> it would work. I'm not crazy about the idea, but it would work. Give him like a sub zero mask. Yeah, the standing desk was when I worked at Google. That kind of stuff is always like, it works in like an open environment thing, but it's hard to set up in an office like the one I have where I have my workstation and my computer or my PC gaming thing over here. I don't I don't think I have any coffee to microwave. I think it's it's all gone. I'd have to make some more. What if this guy has the same like mask thing as the enemy. Yeah, this thing got all screwed up. I like that. I like the idea that in order to be the best character, he had to become a little bit like the bad guys. headband like Rambo that might work
I'm open to trying it. Well, the thing is, I feel like with like a headband, you always have like a little knot. Oh my god. <laughs> you know, like a little knot um, indicating that it's a headband. So... We'll see what happens here. That's right. Too much, too much glare. Sam Anderson. Hey, Sam. Thanks for following, buddy. I'm going to fall asleep. I'm going to go fall asleep on my computer. <sighs> Why aren't these things 45 degree angles? <sighs> I'm going to put you all to sleep too. Of course, I'm just at home. I mean... There's no one to yell at me except myself if I fall asleep. I don't know where you all are, but people might yell at you. <laughs> Sam Anderson. <laughs> How are you, Sam? You're freelancing, right? Are you you out on your own freelancing too? What if I like highlight the top edge of this thing? If, I, if there's a way to make the visor work while staying in the confines of this circle and making the details chunky enough to be red when it's small, I just don't know that that's ever going to work. I feel like I might be chasing up the a dead a dead tree. Uh, <laughs> I don't think that's it. You're just bark, barking up the bark. Don't don't bite off more than you can than you can bark. All right, let's see. Let's see about this bandana. Let's 
Let's see. Let's look this up. Let's look up. When in doubt, look up what other people have done. Headband illustration. So Rambo illustration. Oh my God! What? I have so many questions. Um, you see a lot of these, they have that, the dangly bits. If you make it red, will it? Ugh. God, some of these effects that I have on these to make them work. It's a little ridiculous. Overlay. Overlay. Um, I have no idea. I have no idea what Rambo that was. Whatever Google image sped out at me because I can't even notice a difference here what is this nonsense Let's make it a multiply and make this a little less dark. You put a line in it, does it look more like a bandana? Like a little bit. See, I really feel like you just have to have some thing floating out behind it to convey what it really is. I'm pretty sure we're trying to keep from doing anything like this, having any bits like this.
Like, that's kind of fun, but again, I think it breaks the rules of what we're trying to do, which is tough. Back to you and your dumb helmets. Let's see, how do we how do we make that helmet pop off? Oh my god, I might have to go make some coffee, you guys. You make it purple, and it's definitely a Magneto helmet. Maybe if it's silver, it's like a metal helmet. Yeah, he's really, he's really badass, but I don't know if we can do these the flappy things. Because it's the only, if we do that, then it's like the only thing that breaks that outer circle. So, it's tough. Yeah, that's what, because when it's just in the shape, it doesn't really feel like a bandana. I mean, Super don't think this is gonna work, but why not why why not try it before writing it off? <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't even look like my dad anymore. Maybe if you made these different links on grasping at straws. That's a that's a real saying that people really say, grasping at straws. I know that.
<laughs> Cigarette or sucker? You you be the judge. <laughs> Done. Little triangle popping out from underneath. Like the end of a folded, oh, that's a clever solve. We're gonna make both of these the same and just reduce this one to zero percent. An ace in the bandana. It's not a bad idea. It looks more like a bandana. Maybe it's not red, maybe it's more like an army. Spirit of Todd, we have not seen the actual physical manifestation of Todd in here in a good while. Maybe because we made fun of him about hating board games. You think that was the final straw for Todd? He bowed out after that? Todd's beyond grudges.
Well, if I lower it, then I won't have any room to try that card. What am I doing? Just make the thing. Make him have a star deck ace of spades under here. God, it's going to be so tiny, though. There's going to be no way to tell that it's an ace of spades. You can... You all know, but the players need to know. The, the client needs to know. Not show them the cigarette. Making something look like silver or gold is always tough. Then it breaks that blue palette. <sighs> pop Hold on, I'm gonna be right back. I'll be right back.
Okay. I made coffee. See, that can't jump kick things. <laughs> okay. I think I am going to figure out this helmet and then bow out, maybe. We'll see. I just don't know what color you make it. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I would unfortunately, I think, need the Star Wars license to do that. Or to make that, I guess. Did I say make that? Oh, God. I'm so out of it. I can't wake up. That doesn't, these, these things don't make any sense unless they go all the way to the top, I think. <laughs> what a ridiculous thing. Call this guy tiny? Sure. Tiny's as good as anything. What the hell should I be doing with this helmet? It's making me crazy. And I can't figure out. Like, maybe part of it is that there needs to be a shadow beneath it separating it from the eyes and the face. We'll try it.
<laughs> no. You can't have a jewel on his helmet. See, the only place that there's like a like a depth or an edge over here or is on th on this part on this because there's a hole in it but otherwise things don't really have edges so I can't add an edge to it This works. I think it reads as a helmet. I think. A row of cop helmet. That's his helmet. That it's like the top half. He has like a visor and it's metal on the top, and then like his his mouth is open. Should there be like a white line or something on this helmet? Becomes like a motorcycle helmet. Oh my god. I mean, yeah, but the pants aren't really the problem. And like you can move it over a white background, but it's never going to actually be over a white background in the game, so. And that's one of the reasons the enemies are split to be like half black or half dark and half light is that way no matter where they are in the background some part of them will pop if they're over the light areas up here then the darkness on the bottom will define it if they're in the dark areas then the lightness on top will help them stand out If I want to sample these, I think I just have to take a screenshot and then put the screenshot in here and then sample the screenshot. I think that's what I'm that's what I have to do at this point. Okay, so we have all of these guys. Their pallets break what we have, but if we stay, let's see. If 
If we have these, these all have, share the same palette. And they're all pretty different from each other. The little guy is the only one after the starter guy that doesn't have any embellishments or anything, but he also only has one eye, so I feel like the one eye helps differentiate him enough from the rest. I think that might be a good stopping point. I can send this off and see what they think at Identity Visuals. But to do that, I have to access a whole bunch of stuff that you can't see. So. Yeah, I think it's probably because of the bubble, the little bubble shape, because they have that. They have the like solid plastic on the bottom, and then the light plastic on the top, or translucent even. All right, I think that's pretty good for the next round of feedback. We'll see what they say. <laughs> the mattress is moving went quickly. I don't know what uh, Pete from Twitch was in here talking about how it took him like all day for that thing to unzip or, or reinflate. From but it went really quickly. We like cut into the vacuum because it's all like vacuum sealed. We cut into the vacuum seal stuff and came back live. I'm still not awake. Yep, I'm going to say this is good. So, there's not much time left in the day. So, I think that whatever I work on next, I'm just going to work on in the privacy of my own office. <laughs> um, I don't know what that'll be. Do you all care if I work on this switch? thing on my own do you care about that i kind of 
I kind of wouldn't mind finishing it, but I've made most of it on the stream so far. So making it in private feels maybe wrong. I don't know. But yeah, so, you know, just to recap today, we focused on um, adjusting this guy in his helmet, the big guy in his goggles, and figuring out some way to make the final dude look like an ultimate badass. Um, so that's what we did. That's what we did today. We worked on client work today. Um, God, those things just take so much time to figure out oh, lordy lordy um but i'm glad we got this um woo. all right guys guys and gals guys and gals and children that's gonna be it for today um i'll be back Let's see we stream on tuesdays and wednesdays now tuesdays wednesdays fridays so I'll be back on Tuesday, uh, and we'll work on something, as we always do, right? Um, so, yeah. Everyone, have a uh, super, super great weekend. Um, stay awake for the rest of your Friday. Do a better job than me, because I'm having a hard time. <laughs> but, as always... Uh, thanks for hanging out, everyone, and uh, have a great weekend. I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye.